guys, I'm Chess Prime and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am excited to be showing you guys a new series on my channel. We're going to be calling this series Sims 4 Once Upon a Hunger Games. It is a Hunger Games challenge. I did post a video specifically um, showing off the characters, going through all their traits, all their outfits. Um, and all of that, so I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I'm basically just going to be explaining what the episode is, um, showing off the build, and then having a bit of gameplay. Um, if you don't know what Once Upon a Time is, Once Upon a Time is a show who's, that's not longer current, but it's still my favorite show. I watched it back when it was current. And uh, I'm obsessed with it, so I really wanted to bring it in the game and see them battle to the death. Basically, that's the gist of the series. Um, originally, this uh, Hunger Games challenge was created by si the Simmer K-Pop in The Sims 3. But from there, it's been taken with and ran with and done a bunch of different ways. And... Since The Sims 4 and The Sims 3 work a little bit differently, I'm going to be going based off Coffee's editions. Uh, she's done several Hunger Games challenge back before she quit doing Sims videos. Uh, Disney related. Um, and Once Upon a Time is kind of Disney. It like, has some Disney aspects in it. <laughs> So, I thought this would be kind of fun to do with Once Upon a Time with characters. But Coffee did a regular edition and a chaos edition where she had, like, a murder mod. And I wanted to do that, but the mod, like, broke my game. So, we won't be doing that. But I will be doing the death a little bit differently. Before you question, I did explain in the video why Henry is not in this video or in this series so it's basically because he's a teen and I need all adults but he could be a reward later on so we'll see but basically I'm gonna do the best I can to explain this because there's no specific written down rules I don't think coffee ever written down the rules so I'm just gonna kinda explain how it works um, and I'll explain more of the rules when I'm going over the build. I can show you the requirements of the of the build. So, um, first, um, basically, uh, they, they go through a bunch of challenges and death rounds. So there'll be challenges, there'll be a winner and a loser, or, a, yeah, I guess, a winner and a loser. And then there'll be a reward time that's like 12 hours long. And then, and they'll have to, um, basically, you start out with a small reward and it gets bigger and bigger. And then, the, of course, the last reward is supposed to be huge. And, for example, let me show you, uh, there is going to be a reward house and the first reward is going to be the reward house. And then from there on, everyone get, has access to the reward house. Uh, not everyone. Whoever the winner is will, will have access to the reward house plus something else as well. Um, but the reward, basically the, the first day is going to be... Like the first day, which will be this episode, they're gonna run, they're gonna have free roam for 12 hours because a punishment and reward lasts 12 hours. So, they first everything will be unlocked, and then after that 12 hours, we'll have to lock certain things, and then they'll get food but only a limited amount, they'll only get four plates. Um, and as it declines, the number of people decline, the, the food declines too. So, like, six people probably got three plates, four people, two plates. See where I'm going with this? And then they'll have the first competition. And then from there on, every episode will be a reward and punishment for 12 hours. Yeah, your food, who will be served by a maid after the first death. Because um, the first death, 
one of these will go. And there's only allowed eight Sims at a time in a household, so that's why I can't put in a maid already. So, whoever dies first, the maid will replace them. Um, then the death round, um, I will have a color wheel. Instead of trying to, like, set the room on fire, and then whoever catches on fire first is the one that dies, and no one can put them out, and all that, because I'm not supposed to control the Sims unless it's, like, a reward or something like that, but to keep, I cannot tell the Sims to keep care of themselves, even when they're rewarded, I cannot tell them they will have access to the reward house, or they can take care of their needs, um, but I cannot tell them to, to do certain things. And then after the death, um, we will have the competition, which is what the video ends on. And basically, they'll have to all do an activity, and whoever quits first or refuses to participate first loses, and they must be punished at the beginning of the next episode. And then, whoever is the last standing uh, and doesn't quit first will be the one to win the competition and get the reward. So that's basically how it's going to work. And, uh, so yeah, that, I hope that made sense. Um, <laughs> if you've never watched a Hunger Game Challenge, I fi find it easier to understand when I'm watching the game be, be played. So maybe when I play it, it'll make a little bit more sense. But let's go ahead and show off the build and show the requirements for the build. So I actually downloaded this empty shell of Storybrooke. I know, it's amazing. I actually deleted some of the buildings and I added some stuff myself. But I'll just show you, you off right quick. So first, we have the beginning street. We have Granny's, which is going to be in the maid's house and where the food is cooked. And we have Rumples, which is just an empty shell on the inside. But we have his Mr. Gold store. Behind it, we have what is supposed to be like the ocean, but it's just a pool. And it has like a Hook's pirate ship. And then over here, this is like the beginning street when you first drive into town and you see this building. This is where I'm going to have the competition area. So I'll show that off in a minute. This is what all the requirements are. Um, Emma and Hook's house is going to be the reward house. There is empty lot over here just because I felt like we needed an open area to do stuff with. Perhaps when the party comes, I'll set it up here. Halfway through the series, we normally do have a party um, where everyone's needs get rewarded and they just have time to have fun and do whatever they want. Everything's unlocked. You know, fun time. But look, it even has Emma's little yellow bug. Or the closest I could get to Emma's little bug. And then over here, we have the graveyard, which leads to... I actually had to add this building in myself, so um, hopefully it looks alright. But this is like Regina's little lair in the middle of the woods. And I even added a wishing well in the middle of the woods as well. Um, over here, this is just a bunch of empty buildings, but I thought they have potential to possibly be rewards or punishments. So we have like the sheriff station, the ice cream shop, the clock tower slash library, um, Regina's house, and then the town hall. Um, I think that's it um, for the outer shells. Let me show off, okay, so I will show off this area first. This is three and one. So basically, we have, this is going to be the competition area. I also have all the competitions in here. This is going to be the death room. Whoever dies is going to come in here, and they're going to die, and I'll put their graves on these as long as they fit. And then we had the living area. So basically the living area requirements, <laughs> I actually gave them a little bit extra. One, um, I gave them a coffee machine because I think it's kind of funny. Coffee does this 
And, uh, of course, because she, she's coffee, she has to have a coffee machine every Let's Play. But it keeps them awake, even though when they're tired, and they have limited sleeping areas. So, it's supposed to be one queen-size bed, one couch, and one bathroom. I have two bathrooms, a queen-size bed, a, a single bed, and a couch. Um, so here's the other bathroom. There's a desk, there's some chests, just for fun activities, a TV. And, uh, there's another bathroom up here, a bedroom, this bedroom, and then, like, some music, a book, book case, and a hookah for some reason. Um, <laughs> I don't remember putting that in, but apparently I did. But basically, the reason I did that is because I'm going to take the bed away when there's less characters. So they'll be down. We'll be down one, one bed. And same with the bathroom. I'm going to take out this bathroom. And just have this bathroom down here. Once there's less characters. And of course the couch. I don't know if they can actually sleep on this couch. Because it's shaped funny. And it's only like two seated. Instead of three seated. So we'll see. We'll see. So that's the, the house. And I like how it looks down onto the competition area. I just thought that was funny. So, the next building I want to show you is Ranny's. So, again, these buildings are not supposed to look exactly like they do in on the inside in the game. I kind of inspired it off that, but made it work for what I need it for the challenge. So, you know, it has the bar... And the little seating. It has the tile floors. I could not find a wallpaper that really worked. That was the same as the wallpaper in, in the series. So I just gave it white walls all the way through this building. So they're not going to have access in here. Because I don't want them to have access to the kitchen. They'll probably eat outside. But I just wanted this to look kind of like the series. So here's the kitchen. Very basic. Um... Not a lot to it. This is her bathroom. Very big for no reason, but I felt like she should have something a little bit nice. And then she has a lounge area upstairs, uh, which I thought this was not too far off because in the game, Granny's is upstairs, is like a hotel area. So, of course, I figured the maid should have their own Area has a computer, a bed, TV, gaming area, dresser, mirror, bookshelf. They have it all. They're good. They're good. <laughs> and then the next area is just going, and the last area to show off is the reward house. So I made Emma and Hook's uh, house the reward house. And you come in, and automatically there's a hot tub and a bar with some seating. Uh to your left, your right, your right, and then there's this nice big open kitchen with a little island, and a, since there'll only be one person getting the reward house at a time, I just put two seats in case there is another person that comes with a reward later on that has access to this house, I put two. And then up here, we have a bedroom and a nice bathroom with a big tub and a shower, or multiple mirrors, a yoga mat, a big comfy bed, and then an entertainment area with a computer and a TV and a gaming console. And then there's actually a ladder that goes up to a second bedroom. And I put this little attic space at the top um, to be like if Henry moved in or something like that, he could live up here. I thought since it was Emma's house, it made sense for him to have his own little room. Um, just in case he does become a part of the Let's Play. But it all depends on how it goes. Like, it's completely unpredictable who will survive this challenge. And I, I feel like Henry would be a good reward for, like, either Emma or Regina. But not really, like, if they don't survive that long, then he'll never show up. You know? But that is it. So let me... I didn't... I should, should probably point out the characters earlier. I did do a video reviewing them, but if you didn't watch that video, basically we have Emma Swan and her parents, Snow White and 
Prince Charming, who is also known by David, and Snow is also known by Mary Margaret. Um, Regina was the evil queen, but she goes by Regina. Regina, that's her actual name. And then her sister, which is Alina, which is the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, I know I say that weird, sorry. I have, like, a list when I try to say that. I don't know why. Um, but Hook, who ends up being with Emma, so, um, they may get into a relationship later, depending on how it goes. Um, he is also known as Captain Hook. And then we have Rumble Siltskin slash Mr. Gold in the appearance of Mr. Gold. And then we have Belle, who is in love with Mr. Gold for the most part. Um, and none of them have relationships. So they're all starting off at a blank slate just to because right relationships could be rewards or punishments. I didn't want to go ahead and have them be in relationships. I explained that all in the other video. But I think that's enough for introductions. Um, like I said, everything is unlocked. Um, autonomy is on full. Um, I will show you that. Uh, gameplay, autonomy is full, so they get, do whatever they want for 12 hours. Um, and they can't age up, so we don't have to worry about that. And the weather's on four weeks, so we'll see. Who will sh wander off first? All right. So it looks like <laughs> they are all headed this way. Um, let's see. Where are they all going? Um, oh, it looks like... They're going to Granny's. They're all going to Granny's. Let's see. Bathroom. He just wants to wash his hands. Let's see. A lot of them are going upstairs. I guess that, that's where the nicest TV is. Where's Rumpel going? He's going this way. Is he going to go talk to Bella now? No. I'm seriously curious. What are you doing? Are you going to go play on a computer at in the reward house? Okay, so he's doing that. Let's go through the list. Regina's just kind of hanging out. Out. Uh, Snow is going to talk to Regina. Very interesting. Looks like Zelina's playing video games in the maid's house. David's watching TV. Emma's watching TV. Belle is talking to Hook. Let's see. Uh, I started this at like 8.30, right? We'll call it 8.30. And then we'll see if they're hungry. I meant to, like, set their needs high for the beginning of the the thing, the thing episode, but I don't think I did. So, we'll see how hungry they are by then. And the question is, who's going to cook? That is the real question. I'll probably have the least hungry person cook. And are they going to cook on their own? So far, that's a no. And I am fast forwarding this a little bit, just because, <laughs> um, 12 hours takes a while. A lot of them are going to the video gaming skill. Very interesting. I, I'm surprised none of them have used the pool or the hot tub yet. Like, I thought for sure they would come and jump in this hot tub. Or in the pool. Seriously, no one in the pool? Yep, no one's in their swimwear either, so I guess it is a warm day. I don't see why they went. Huh, that's interesting. They're totally not doing what I expected them to. There's even a little music area out here. Alright. Um. I thought this would be more interesting, honestly. <laughs> Oops. Let's see. Let's see how their needs are coming. Okay. Hook's got to pee. What's wrong with you? You're, you're angry for me, evil, right? Good versus evil? Yeah. There's a lot of good and evil sims in this, this uh, let's play, so it's going to cause some controversy. Um, sure. Belle can like gaming. That's fine. You know, she's more into books. Zelina's mean. So, um, 
Uh, hopefully she doesn't get too angry to compete later on. Let's see. Was there movement over here or was that crazy? I don't know. Also, if you did notice, there is a fence completely around this um, place. And that is because um, I don't want any Sims leaving or any Sims visiting. I just want to be able to control who goes in and out. So that's why, uh, you know, they, uh, um, there's a fence around the whole story broke. By the way, I never showed off who created this lot, so let me go to the gallery real quick. My library, um, this is the version I uploaded on the gallery, where the originally, original version is Yay is Sims. So if you want to find the original, um, shell, like I said, it was a shell, it, was, it wasn't like an actual, um, it didn't have anything on the inside. It just had empty buildings. And like I said, I did delete some and like add some some extra stuff on the outside. Was he has anyone actually gone up into Henry's room? I don't think so. Let's see. No one is sleeping or eating. That's not very smart of them. They should be taking advantage of all their accesses while they have it. Alright. We got four more hours to go and then we can start the competition. And I'm thinking just an easy competition to start off with. Maybe some yoga or some dancing. Something easy. Uh, Rumpel is identify a fish. How do you identify a fish? Are you fishing? No, you're drinking in water and washing the dish. Everyone's wanting to be in the reward house. Apparently it's quite popular, but he's bored of the decor. Of course he is. Of course he is. <gasps> Emma's cooking! Smart girl, Emma. She's probably just fixing a single serving, though. What is she fixing? Making a BLT. Okay, good. Something shouldn't have to cook. Is she calling the meal? Uh, she's grabbing a serving. She made multiples. Oh, okay. Yeah, she called people to a meal. Um, I might not have to do the food after all. How many did she make? Okay. She only made four. So let's see. Um, I'll clean that up. So Emma got some. Selena is so hungry. David got some. Belle is not hungry, so at, point, at some point she ate. Kilgan is so hungry. Um, Snow is so hungry. Rumpel's full, and Regina is full. Interesting. I may, I may not have to make food after all. I may not have to make food. Because over half of them are full now. So I may just start the composition without even them eating. Snow is dancing. Rumple, you're just eating in the middle of the street. <laughs> okay, then. Let's see. Oh my god, they're so concentrated on being in the reward house. Oh, Regina has to pee. Will she go pee before... Before it is too late, it's the question. Oh my gosh, so many plates. Oh, Rumpel's cleaning them up. Cool, cool. Look at this dancing, though. Just all of them coming in and dancing. Um, also, normally I do a slideshow for, for series... But I'm thinking this time I'm probably not going to do a slideshow. So you guys don't have to worry about me always taking pictures and stuff. Because I also don't need them for the thumbnail. Because I'm going to have all the thumbnails be the same. So. Which is not something I normally do. So it's fine. What? Why is she sad? Envious from the jealous trait. Aww. 
How long is that going to last? Four hours? You don't have time to be sad. Yeah, go cry out. I'll get over with sooner. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do if they're too sad to do a competition. That, that would be a problem. None of them got sleep, though, I'm pretty sure. They're all pretty close to being tired. And there'll really only be, like, two spots they can actually sleep. Everywhere else, they can only nap. Well, everyone else, everyone else is a couch. <clears throat> so. Alright. Let's fast forward this last hour. And then I'll have to teleport everyone out here. Lock all the buildings, which I'm going to lock the reward house and the, the maid's house. And just have this area be unlocked. And all the, of course, all the empty buildings are unlocked because there's nothing in them. So, oh, 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 it's almost time. It is almost time. Let's see. 8.30, come as quick as you can. All right. All right. And, of course, Regina gets angry at the very last minute. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. So... Uh, is there something in the oven? I don't think so. So I'm going to turn this off. Um, we will, I, I will teleport them out, so don't worry about that. So lock door for, I just want everyone. And I will lock this door for everyone. Lock door for, um, everyone. And then we need to set up a competition and teleport them out. I did um, download a teleporter mod just to make the teleporting and everyone starting at the same time easier. Um, I really do think I'm just going to go yoga for the first one. Just something real simple. Something that's not going to strain them too much. Um, they are all are starting to be tired. And they're not all in a whole horrible mood. So it could actually last a while, depending on how their moods are, um, is how, how it'll get. So let's, um, no, that blends in. What, what doesn't blend in with green? No. I know it doesn't matter how they look. We'll go with brown. That's con contrasting. So, let's see. One... Let's just put, oh, can we not do that? I also don't have move objects on, which is my bad. Um, I think it'll work, though. We'll just do one more. Come on. All right, and then the teleporter, it, it looks like a knight. But you can just summon sims. So they'll all start at the same time. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one... Whoops. That's not in the right place. One there, one there, and one there. There we go. So let's just teleport everyone here. So teleport sim here. We'll just go down the list. It doesn't really matter who's by who. I'm just going to go in the order it gives me. Bell, teleport Sim. Emma, teleport Sim. I like how to split it between boys and girls. We did all the boys first and then all the girls. Okay. So, Emma, you will... Oh, wait, is this the teach? This is the teaching mats, isn't it? Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. Okay, I fixed it. It's the same color and everything. Don't worry about nothing. Nothing to worry about. Let's just um, practice yoga. Um, you will practice yoga. Practice yoga. Practice yoga. Practice yoga. Um, practice yoga. Where is my bowl? Practice yoga. And Regina, do not be too mad. Yes. Okay, practice yoga. 
All right. Whoever doesn't participate or quits first loses. So let's see who will survive. Some of you haven't started. Regina, Belle, and Snow are all just saying, okay, Belle moved. I don't want to fast forward and see who loses for, or do, don't see who quits first. All right, come on, people. Okay, maybe I will fast forward just a little bit. So there's not much I can really say here. All right, we won't fast forward too much. Just a little bit. All right. Um. Okay, no one's quit yet. Let's see. Was it? They all are in a pretty good mood. Like I said, this is the first round. They're not as miserable as they're. They're going to be most of the time, so we'll just, we'll just see. Oh, Regina's getting angry again. Uh, all required the, the wellness skill. Fast forward in. Wow, it's been going on like two hours straight now. Maybe this is why it's always in the first step, people doing the first episode, because it takes so freaking long. Come on, people. Someone quit. Someone quit. I want to punish someone. Not in this episode, but next episode. So. Let's see. Good thing I didn't feed them. Then they really would be taking forever. Let's see. They're going to be really good at wellness, so I'm into this. Hey, okay, some people are getting really tired and, and starting to smell. Yeah, Snow White smells. <gasps> Did Snow White just quit? Did she quit? Oh, Snow White's being punished. She is our first loser. So next episode, Snow White will quit. It looks like Zelina quit too. Um, I probably just should probably make a know that in my phone. Let's see. Loser Snow. Okay, looks like Emma's out. And let's see. Hey, okay, I can fast forward a little bit now. So that now that the first person has quit. So I I love how how uh oh. <laughs> Did someone just pass out? Oh, Zelina's in the tub. She's taking advantage of the bathroom while it's available. Oh, uh, what's Emma doing? She's in the shower. Um, Davis working out. Belle working out still. Uh, Snow is doing nothing about the, her needs. I guess because there's two people in the bathroom. Everyone else is still doing yoga. So we've only had three people quit. Oh, and it looks like Zelina is making some coffee instead of sleeping. Go figure. Oh my god, it's one o'clock in the morning. How long can you do yoga for? Like, I'm sorry, but come on. These sims are determined. Okay, Regina quit. She's smelly. I think them getting smelly is what's making them quit. Does Snow ever decide to go take a shower? Yeah, she did. Okay. Alright, come on, people. They can... They must really enjoy doing this. I'm even... I'm gonna risk it and put it on Fast Forward 3. All right. Oh, Rumple is out. Mr. Gold is out. Bye bye. It's just between Belle, Kilgan, and David. So, let's see 
who will be the champion? I really didn't think it would take this long. Good God. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, good. Snow made it to the bathroom. Oh, it looks like Killigan is out, so it's just between Charming and Belle. By the way, these Sims, like I said, I can't keep care of their needs. And if these Sims just happen to die from, like, starvation or lack of sleep or something like that, or embarrassment, you know, however they may die just naturally, I can't reverse that. If they die, they die. It just makes it a shorter challenge. And this isn't going to be that long of a challenge because it is only like eight episodes. Did Belle quit? Did Belle quit? <gasps> Belle quit? Charming is the winner, you guys! What? Uh, okay, so Charming, you are the winner. I can't believe Snow is the loser. And Charming is the winner. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. I feel like just ha one of them having access to Reward House while the other one doesn't is like punishment enough. But we won't keep that punishment there. But that is in the first episode, guys. Like I said, next episode we'll be starting off the regular routine. We'll be starting off with a reward and punishment. Followed by I, uh, the death and food and uh, then another competition. So be looking out for that. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for rewards or punishments for any of these characters, please leave them down below because I'd be really interested. I have a list myself, but we'll see how how it goes um, and who who we get to reward and who we get to punish. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.